Hey there, Startup Nation. Welcome back to another episode of the Private Practice Startup Podcast, where we talk to business owners, entrepreneurs, and actually we're being interviewed today on this podcast. Uh, but before we get started, we wanted to say thank you for being a loyal listener if you are part of our Startup Nation family already. And if you are brand new to us, we want to say welcome. We are extending our arms and wrapping them around you, giving you a virtual big hug. Or if you're not into hugs, we'll roll out the red carpet. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you are a new time person, we're welcoming you to Startup Nation family, and we have a gift for you. We'd love for you to head over to our website, privatepracticestartup.com, and grab a copy of your A to Z cheat sheet. You'll see our smiling faces right there, and there'll be a button to grab that. So that's everything that you need to build and grow your dream practice. And just for those of you who may be joining us for the first time, we are Kate and Katie with the Private Practice Startup. I, think I did Katie, forget to introduce myself. Yep, yes. This happens often. It's kind of funny. We just assume that you guys know who we are. Yeah. Um, but if you're new to us, we are Kate and Katie from the Private Practice Startup. We're glad to have you here. And today is a unique episode. We're actually, if you guys could see us right now, it's kind of funny. We're literally standing up in Katie's guest bedroom and we're recording the intro because this particular podcast, um, we had previously recorded with Jessica Dolgan from Therapy Partner, and we simultaneously recorded, and this was um, an inspired idea by Joe Sanok, this reverse interview idea. It's really cool because you get to share content with a greater audience. You get to expand your reach, and um, in the same way that Jessica Dolgan is sharing this episode, we're also sharing it with Startup Nation, and we're actually standing up in Katie's guest room right now, and on we have all our podcasting gear. If you guys can see us, you probably well, we, laugh. We do have the video. So we do have the video sure going. Yes. Yeah, so we have the uh, podcasting gear here and it's about chin level and I'm pretty tall. So it's, it's up pretty high. And on her dresser here, she has a bunch of the willow tree angels. So we're podcasting with the angels today, which is kind of fitting because um, I know with the podcast coming out, you guys can hear it years down the road and you can listen to this 24 seven. There's no real time stamp on it, but today is actually February, what, 21st, yeah. 2018. And on February 14th, um, here in Fort Lauderdale, well, actually Coral Springs Parkland okay. area, uh, which is just West of where I live and very close to where Katie lives. We had a horrific tragedy in our community with the Stoneman Douglas massive school shooting. And so that was here on the 14th. Um, just, you know, just a week ago. Just and it's, a week ago. It's been hard. And I know as Kate, we were talking about how to intro the show and she reminded me and probably that's why I forgot to introduce our, ourselves because it, it is, it's been heavy, um, but the community is really coming together, um, really appreciating the professionals that are coming together to really help heal the community. You know, I mean, that's what we do as therapists, right? Is we're out there making a difference long after something has occurred and, you know, in the trenches and I just can't, I just, I want to give a shout out to all of our amazing community and therapists because they're just wanting to give and donate and pro bono services and what can I do? Um, there's walks, there's vigils, and everyone is just participating. I mean, that's the beauty of this horrific tragedy. Um, but as you guys can hear, like my voice, I'm not my normal regular energetic self, but it's, it's, it's been difficult. We're all doing what we can um, to support these amazing students and families, our first responders and the community at large. So. Yeah, so it's been really heavy and we just needed to be authentic and transparent and let you guys into that aspect of what's been happening in our lives and our um, our clients' lives, our, our friends, our family, our community members. And it really has been such an amazing experience to see all of the clinicians and the community step up. Set, step, step up? <laughs> yes, thank you. Step up in such amazing, powerful ways. So um, in the midst of such tragedy, there is such love and healing and hope. And yeah, so we just wanted to share with you guys and, and um, just you know, kind of talk Kate, about as that. As we're talking about this, is I just, I want to, I want to acknowledge two um, amazing nonprofits here actually in the community because I know we have such a large presence in Florida and I'm just committed to getting the word out any way possible. Um, my friends, folks at Tomorrow's Rainbow, Abby Mosher, Marla Berger, they've actually been doing grief work with children um, since for the last 12 years. And I just can't say that enough. I was actually donating blood yesterday on the blood mobile and there was a, a, a girl there with um, her mom and she actually goes to Stoneman and we started chatting and 
I said, do you guys know about tomorrow's rainbow? Like, please get the word out. And it was really cool. The team went on their phone and looked it up. And as mom was leaving, I was getting my blood drawn or I guess not drawn. I guess I was giving the blood and I, I, I stopped her and I was like, you know, talked a little bit about tomorrow's rainbow. So tomorrow's rainbow is here in Coconut Creek, which is literally like two towns away from Parkland. Um, and they offer free grief services to children um, and teens. So, you know, if you're listening to this podcast, you're wondering what it is, check them out, tomorrowsrainbow.org. And then there's another amazing um, agency and nonprofit right here, again, in Coral Springs, which is next door to Parkland, which is called Healing Hearts. Um, Bob Rasanidi and his wife had lost their son over a decade ago, and they've made a commitment to help grieving parents. So those resources are, resources are here amongst so many others here in the community. And I just wanted to give a shout out to those two because our community needs them for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So we just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about what's going on and, um, it's been tough, but it's also been, you know, an amazing community support and everybody stepping up and each day we're getting stronger and stronger. Hashtag Parkland Strong, right? Parkland Strong or yes. MSD Strong. Hashtag. Yes, exactly. So, so um, we, we hope you guys caught our last episode of the podcast. We actually had Jessica Dolgan from Therapy Partner on and she talked about three business strategies to show your private practice who's boss. And next week we have a really cool podcast with Sarah. Light yeah. shoe. <laughs> Thank you. You have to pronounce her last name because every time I mess it up. And she talked about how to let it go and feel less overwhelmed in private practice, which is something that I think we all need. Yes. We all can benefit from at times, right? Perfected that for yeah. sure. So let's take a moment to break for today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is actually Therapy Partner, and they are a practice management system that helps you show your practice who's boss. Therapy Partner takes care of everything from scheduling, billing, storage of client files and data, and so much more. So to focus on what you love and making a difference in people's lives, leave the rest up to Therapy Partner. Try Therapy Partner out for free for two months, and you'll see in our show notes, you'll be able to click that link and enter the code TPPS as in the private practice startup for your two months for free. Awesome. So we just wanted to share with you some of the highlights that we had talked about in the podcast today um, that you listen to. And it's a rare opportunity that we kind of get, we sit on the other side of the mic in the sense that we're yep. being interviewed. So we really talked about in the title of our podcast um, with Jessica is the mindset of a successful private practitioner. And like Kate said, this is a reverse interview where Jessica interviews us. And we really highlight, you know, really having a legacy you want to leave behind, knowing what that is. And I, I say this so many times to whether it's our group coaching people or individual coaching people, therapist, your therapy skills are completely transferable to business. You have an edge up on the competition. Everybody out there, um, you know how to build rapport. You know how to connect with people. Um, those are really just important things to know. You also want to have an abundance mindset. It's all about collaboration, not competition, even though I just said competition. <laughs> Yeah, and that's one of the things that we really appreciated about connecting with Jessica from Therapy Partner because it's, you know, they believe in the same philosophies that we do. And it's so cool because we often have this experience where we'll reach out to other people, um, practice building coaches, people who are doing the same thing in a different way that we're doing, and maybe in other industries or even in our industry, some people might think it's about, oh, those are your competitors. What are you doing? Reaching out to them, you know, stay away, stay away. But in actuality, we really don't believe in competition. It's all about collaboration and abundance. There's plenty of clients to go around. There's plenty of coaches to go around and we all can really support each other, which is a beautiful thing. So that's right. one of the things I really appreciated about connecting with Jessica and you guys all get to see that, right? Or hear, or hear that. that, I yeah. guess. Or hear that. Um, the other important thing is you guys want to make sure that you're taking risks. And it's so important to invest in yourself, your business, coaching, consultation, mentorship, do it, do it, do it. Um, and if you've heard us once before, you probably know we talk about brand and niche, brand and niche, brand and niche. I can't say that enough. So without further ado, yep. we want you guys to enjoy the podcast. We have hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. And thanks again for always allowing us to inspire you from startup to mastery. Enjoy you guys. <laughs>